welcome students in my new tutorial and as covering earlier i was explaining you about variables in variables we used to store data now there are different types of data in python language which are stored in variables so as written here data which is stored in variables are of different types already we are familiar we have done some tutorials based upon numbers and then strings now i am covering some basic types of data which we are storing in variables for example like numbers 4 or 4.5 till now the example what we have covered we were only storing numbers like 4 5 6 7 like this 4.5 we have not done yet and then strings we were covering that means whenever we want to store any text whenever we want to store any data which is a combination of alphabets that are called string that means the string type of data is stored in variable variables are just the memory locations for that data data can be of different types now different data types in python firstly integer so integers are whole number that means like 1 2 3 or 4 or we could say that like uh, suppose number of apples in a basket or number of players that means they are the whole numbers floats yes this i want to explain you where we are having decimals in between floats are numbers that have decimal points and where we are using it like uh, temperature in degrees celsius or the weight of the object in kilograms that means wherever we are using points or we are using points in between like 4.5 3.5 6.5 that kind of data is called float then strings strings i have already explained strings are sequence of characters such as hello world or they can be used to represent things like a name of a person or a title of a book anything wherever we are writing the text that kind of data is called strings then booleans wherever we are using true or false wherever the question is there like true or false that kind of data is called boolean for example if i am writing suppose is age greater than 4 now in this case the result will be either true or false that means when we ask any question and result can only be true or false that kind of data is called boolean i hope this is clear now i'll explain you how to detect kind of data in python language see variables are storing the data automatically it detects what kind of data is stored we have not to worry that uh, what kind of data whether it is a float integer string or boolean is been stored in variable python language automatically detects the kind of data which is stored so directly i am taking you towards the coding window so now i am here in ideally shell window and here i'll save some kind of data now each type of data i'll save suppose i am saving here a is equal to 2 now just now i have explained you about data types so this should be integer so how to check so there is one code for that type and in bracket write the variable name a you could see that it's stating it's writing printing or it's printing class and in single quote it is giving integer i hope it's clear again i'll take one another example like now b is equal to 2.5 now variable will automatically make it to float as you know very well i have explained you 
that floats are numbers that have decimal points. So, this I have already explained you. So, if I will type use the type command here type b so it is printing there that this is float. Now, if I am writing c is equal to and in inverted commas because you know very well whenever we are writing text it should be in inverted commas. I love my school and then type C. So, you, you could make it out that this is string variable that means the data is string and automatically the variable has taken this data as a string. Now, if I have to take boolean type of data suppose d is equal to now if I have to take that for boolean you have to write true or false. I have not to write in inverted commas because if I write in inverted commas it will treat it as string. So, here if I will print that means I will use the type command type d you could see it is clearly indicating that this is boolean type. I hope you are already familiar with types of data which we are using in python language although these are just the basic data types, but just now for you these are sufficient. So, with this I am closing my tutorial meet you soon with my next tutorial just practice these.